was sorting through my cabinets uh, yesterday. I had to empty everything, as you guys know. I'm clearing. I cleared out my old cabinet. Um, reason being, it was given to me by my father's wife. And if you've read my autobiography, you'll know that my father is completely out of my life now. Um, and I didn't want the cabinet being in my house. Besides, my mum wouldn't have liked it either. So I emptied everything out of the old cabinet. To be fair, I had no idea how much room that thing, how much I kept in it. it I, I've literally, I've filled three cabinets um, and I still need another two, I'd say. I've got loads of stuff, still in boxes, um, the Harry Potter trunk, I've got bags, and um, Newt's big suitcase, I've got boxes next door, um, but I'll get it sorted. Anyway, while I was looking through, I totally forgot I had this. About six years ago, I obviously, as you do, you look for new Harry Potter things online, and I came across um, a Japanese exclusive, I think it's Japanese or Chinese, I can't read the writing, but it came in a box, the box upstairs in the attic, so I can't um, give show you the box, um, of a clock that was released. I think it was the philo for the Philosopher's Stone. Now, it's a Coca-Cola exclusive, but this is it. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's an official piece. It's got Warner Brothers on the bottom there. You could just about make it out on the camera. But it is a Coca-Cola exclusive. I think I paid maybe £35, £40 for this. Um, I was determined to get it, but it's the Quidditch um, pitch with a, um, obviously as you can see, a golden snitch inside and it's there's a magnet, must be a magnet at the top and it's keeping the golden snitch still or, or levitating. How cool is that? I've never, ever, ever, ever seen another one. Um, I, and I've, yeah, I, it was only one available at the time and yeah, I haven't seen another one since. So that's a really, really nice piece. So let me show you what I've done so far with my cabinets. Here is cabinet number one, which is obviously the one from over there. You've seen all this. As some of you know, <laughs> this is my mum. Very strange, I know, but uh, she would have loved that. Um, sorry, part of my mum. There was a lot of my mother. Um, my golden jigsaw puzzle and my beautiful Japanese golden egg from the Goblet of Fire. And down here you have some of the magical creatures. Ollivander wand box that was given out at the premiere. Very, very rare those are. If you have one of those, they're about £800. And then Hogwarts Castle. And my Newt's wand. So that is cabinet number one. Then we go to cabinet number two. So up here we have some figures and some Polly Pocket Harry Potter items. And then we have Hedwig and my favourite snow globe. You can get one of these boxed, you're laughing. I got this boxed all the way from America and it was perfect. Absolutely perfect place, the Hogwarts theme tune as well. We've got, I, I did have another snow globe but I gave it to my wonderful friend Kelly um, who is fantastic in everything she does and I needed to make space as you can see. So thank you Kelly for looking after that for me. Then we have my little clocks and bookends, part of my bookends selection. I love these little clocks. I went through a stage of collecting them all. Then we have my Royal Dalton and some bookends. And then these little story figures, which some of them are broken, sadly. But uh, never mind. These things happen. And then we have Hagrid, my cookie jar. And then a selection of mugs and wands. I love that. That is from the Wizarding World in Japan. And it's a cup lid and I think that is 24 karat gold plated but because I don't know Japanese I'm I just can't tell you this is from the release of Chamber of Secrets again it's another Japanese exclusive you can still get them in box so have a look out for them 
Right, God, I tell you something, this makes it easier for me to show you things. And then we move on to cabinet number three. This is the boring cabinet, although the Noble collection is pretty cool. And we have more stuff up here. Then we have my Noble collection and some um, magical creatures. And we have a film cell from Philosopher's Stone. We have my bookmarks. Tom Riddle's ring, obviously the um, Resurrection Stone, my Gringotts coins, my bookmarks from Moving Pictures, we've got my Time Turner, and we've got the Slytherin Locket, we have a Deluminator. Down here we have a few little figures, some of them a little bit bigger than everyone else. That is actually a um, bubble bath, I think, or a shower gel. There are more, but uh, I'll show you the figures in a minute. And then we have a film cell. It's just been put there until I know what to do with it. And then I love these. They're great. That there actually lights up. So it's really cool. And then down here we have a few little odds and ends. We've got um, my potions labels from Moving Pictures. We have Bertie Potts Every Flavor Bean Cookie Jar. We have Hagrid on his bag. This box here is full of trinkets. I love this box. It's £8 on eBay. I don't think it's worth £8 to be exact, but, but look at all those trinkets. And they're so cool. I love them, I love them, I love them. Absolutely love them. We've got lots of little bits in there. And we have obviously my Ravenclaw pen, which I bought for my wedding for people to sign the guest book. I wish I knew where that guest book was. I don't know what I've done with it. Um, we have, it's a torch of um, the Hogwarts Express, but it doesn't work. It never did. This is uh, obviously the Gryffindor letter opener, but the sword is actually in a picture frame at the moment, making it part of a display. Voldemort's wand. We have a little Dobby. And a cauldron mug from the Warner Brothers studio in London. So that <coughs> is cabinet number three. Now... These things here, this is full, if I can lift up slightly. This is stuff that's gotta be put away. I'm ha these are Christmas decorations, that's why they're out. Oh, my sorting hat and my box. Um, yeah, these are Christmas decorations. Professor Dumbledore will be waiting for you. Sherbet Lemon. Uh, they're from Hallmark, by the way, those two. So we have, in here we have, this is Harry's temporary suitcase he's not allowed to keep it but he at the moment my little boy harry is newt scamander he is nobody else he's just newt scamander and really wants a costume so well done newt scamander well done every eddie redmayne for playing a good part and my son actually wants to play now my god in here we have sheets and sheets empire magazine with fantastic beast stuff inside it i've got pictures more pictures, I've got signed photos in here. Uh, what else have I got in here? Pictures I've been brought. I have that, which is a copper philosopher's stone picture, which I love. Fantastic beast items. Um, the night bus, we've got the wands under there. We've got Gryffindor scarves in here. We've got a plaque. My God, I've got everything. In fact, can I fit this in here? No, I can't. Right, okay. Well, that's out the window then. I'll have to end soon because I've got to go and pick my little man from school. I'm home alone at the moment, which is why I'm showing you. I also have these. If I can take this off without breaking it. And this is what I meant. These are Gryffindor Common Room and the uh, Room of Requirements um, play sets. So this is what I mean by figures. I have so much in here little um, wands and things and like the little radio from the common room harry ron fred george what else have i got in here um oh harry's put things in here he's put joffrey and stuff from game of thrones in here as well bless him and there's some little books we've got luna we've got the patronuses uh, so we've got those this is the room of requirements they tower so how cool is that and then in here my gorgeous, gorgeous Harry Potter trunk, which my friends spotted on eBay. I have crew jackets and tops in here. 
What have I got? Which one's this? This is a thick uh, Harry Potter 2 crew jacket. I bought that from Prop Store. Here I have these are just in here until I know what I'm doing with them because they're filthy at the moment. They need a good wash. Uh, again, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets uh, crew polo shirt. I love this jacket. I wouldn't wear any of this though, just in case anything happened to it. Um, which one was this? Oh, Miss. But stop it. Right. Harry Potter. Uh, Arthur Holland. I have no idea. Oh, Chamber of Secrets Construction 2002. That's a jacket. That looks really warm. So, in here, this is the stuff I need to have another cabinet for. Um, I've got Weasley Wizard Wee stuff. I've got wands. I've got Hermione Granger's wand. I've got, what have I got? I've got cups. I've got figures. I've got Honey Duke stickers from my wedding. I've got Dolores Umbridge's wand, which should be hanging up, but I've got nowhere to hang it. Now the cabinets are there. Oh my God. Again, guys, this is only a small section of my collection. Um, when everything's displayed nicely, I will take you around everything. Um, but yeah, I've got so much stuff. It's unbelievable. Um, oh, he shouldn't be in there actually, Neville. He should be in the um, room of requirements. But I'll sort that out later. I've got time turners. I've got oh god, I've got all sorts of things. I've got to see, uh, tapes down there. Philosopher's stone. Um, I made this sorting hat, which I absolutely love, but he needs painting. Um, what else? Oh, I've got an old time turner that was given out with a magazine years ago. If anyone remembers. So <clears throat> I think I've got one boxed somewhere. Um, right, so that is the stuff for the front for this slot. Hang on, I've got more. What about, right, I'll, shall I leave the? Yeah, I'll leave that stuff out for a minute because I need to put it away properly. In here is competition winner stuff. So we have all the jewellery there, and then um, Tina Goldstein. Oh, I can't put that by a radiator because it's got chocolate ones in it for Christmas for the kids. And in here, I have stuff I'm turning into Christmas decorations. Um, oh, my new Scamander suitcase. Look, my new one arrived today. Uh, I've got Christmas decorations from the studios. I'm turning these into Christmas decorations. Hang them off the tree. And that one as well. And that one as well. And they're beautiful. Uh, oh, and I've got another one as well to go on the tree. I've just got to find out what I've done with it. Um, right, I have all my Fantastic Beast Pops in here. So I've got um, uh, Serafina Pickery. I've got Percival Graves, which I didn't know was out. But that's cool. um, I have the first Niffler. I haven't got the second one. Although I'm turning them into decorations as well. Um, I've got Queenie Goldstein, my favourite character. And Jacob, who I may love. Uh, and then obviously Newt with the egg, which is down there. So I'll put them there. Um, oh, and I've got stuff up here as well. I got given a gorgeous Christmas decoration from a gentleman, from two gentlemen in America who sent me that, so I'm really grateful. I have a broom, I have all my, well, no, I don't have all my stuff. <clears throat> so guys, we are now in the dining room of my house. Um, let me push the chairs in under the table because the boys have been playing PlayStation. Um, and then I will show you a few more pieces. Right, I have books I've made that were on top of the cabinets. We've top of the cabinet before I uh, sort of move these. These are for my wedding, these were. Um, I'm probably going to get bored with my son for moving things. He's 15 and really good at it. History of magic with that. Right, so, oh, honey jukes, look at this. i got to find somewhere to put those. Right, now then, we have another box here full of Harry Potter stuff. This is a big box. Full, full, full. I won't go through it right now because I've got just, I've got to hurry up. So, and then... <clears throat> oh, Death Eater mask. What do I need to put somewhere? Oh, more stuff again. Look there. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Um, and then here, in here as well loads of harry potter stuff again i won't move it around too much because i literally i'm gonna it's just gonna fall out but again this is absolutely chock-a-block with harry potter and then over here at the moment they're here because i don't know what to do with them all my pictures so i've got beautiful pictures that um sean valentine had done of my music box 
my Diagon Alley limited edition uh, Mina Lima picture that is actually number 240 of 250. I've got another print there of the book. I've got my J.K. Rowling autograph there. I've got my um, premium, uh, my um, standard print from Mina Lima. Uh, the stamps there. About my wedding in the newspaper there. What else have I got? I think a lot of these are just normal pictures. Yeah, they're normal pictures. Apologies, potion. I've got. Um... Oh, my books are falling. Um, I have Fenway Greybacks autograph. Uh, I've got, that was a watch wedding present for my friend Mary. I've got um, uh, Lucius Malfoy's autograph there. Dobby's autograph there. What's behind Dobby? Ah! Um, oh, it's, uh, well, I'm not sure if that's genuine, but it's in a frame anyway. But that's genuine. Over there, Fred and George, that's genuine. They're all genuine except one or two that I'm not sure of because I didn't get them myself or they weren't from a trusted seller. Uh, Dawn French autograph there. I got that myself. I met her outside the Swansea Grand Theatre. She was lovely. Here I also have, let me move. This is turning out to be a longer video than I thought it would be. I have banners from the premiere in London of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, which were pinched from, um, from the place uh, by my friend and then taken back on the tube and I've got Harry, Ron and Hermione that side and then Bellatrix, Lucius and Voldemort that side and then I have these pictures I'm only missing one <sighs> so that is floor one of my Harry Potter collection um, again there is more I'm actually looking around to see if I've missed anything dun 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 oh I have, you see above me uh, Harry Potter stuff dotted everywhere there's a, a cookie jar there. Um, I'll turn the light off in here. I have... Obviously, you guys have seen that. It's the Quibbler magazines from Deathly Hallows Part 1. Um, my House of Mina Lima. Bathroom. Here. With the back of the door looking awesome. And I have... Uh, these on the wall as well. My hand's shaking because I've been holding my camera so long. Uh, so this is downstairs and obviously I don't know if I showed you my music box. I know you've already, probably a lot, a lot of you have seen it already. But that's my music box room. I'm having a uh, Dumbledore's office one made right now. And I cannot wait to get it. My beautiful prize picture from my sister Nadine, D Jarvis, and then over here we have my wonderful mum, who is also a huge Harry Potter fan, who passed away last uh, year ago in January. And then we have a few more Harry Potter items, some of which you have already seen in my videos. And then I love this Hagrid's hut candle holder. So that's the downstairs, pretty much covered. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything you want to watch, you want to look at properly. Um, I am now going to go and get changed and go and get my little monkey from school. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.